Hi, LDS, it's Mrs. Hittinger, and I'm so happy to read with you the very end of The Wild Robot together right now. You've come so far. Let's see how this ends for Roz and everybody else inside of the book. So we are on Chapter 79, The Departure. The airship's engines automatically fired up. Then the ship slowly floated above the island, turned to the south, and disappeared into the clouds. Chapter 80, last chapter of the book, title is The Sky. Our story ends in the sky, where a robot was being whisked away from the only home she had ever known. As Roz sat in the airship, broken and alone and speeding toward a mysterious, mysterious future, she looked back at her miraculous past. Reader, it must seem impossible that our robot could have changed so much. Maybe the Ricos were right. Maybe Roz really was defective and some glitch in her programming had caused her to accidentally become a wild robot. Or maybe Roz was designed to think and learn and change. She had simply done those things better than anyone could have imagined. However it happened, Roz felt lucky to have lived such an amazing life, and every moment had been recorded in her computer brain. Even her earliest memories were pretty clear. She could still see the sun shining through the gash in her crate. She could still hear the waves crashing against the shore. She could still smell the salt water and the pine trees. Would she ever see and hear and smell those things again? Would she ever climb a mountain or build a lodge or play with a goose? Not just a goose, a sun. Bright Bill had been Roz's son from the moment she picked up his egg. She had saved him from certain death, and then he had saved her. He was the reason Roz had lived so well for so long. And if she wanted to continue living, if she wanted to be wild again, she needed to be with her family and her friends on her island. So as Roz raced through the sky, she began computing a plan. She would get the repairs she needed. She would escape from her new life and she would finally find her way back home. The Wild Robot by Peter Brown. And boys and girls, if you didn't know, in the back of the book, our author Peter Brown gives you a preview of the second book if you're interested in getting it. It's called The Wild Robot Escapes. We hope you enjoyed this and families, we hope that it brought you all together to share in the love of reading with your family and have a good night.